Wake up, Burns! Good morning. It is Thursday, January 6, 2022. My, My name is Decker. And I'm Max. Max, do you still have your Christmas tree up? Yes. T today is National Take Down Your Christmas Tree Day. After the bustle and excitement of the Christmas season, National Take Down the Christmas Tree Day on January 6th provides the perfect end to the season. It's the last of the 12 days of Christmas and encourages us to finally let go of the holidays, take down our trees, and usher in Epiphany. Epiphany is also celebrated today for those who thought that Christmas was over. Epiphany celebrated on January 6th marks the final celebration day of the Christian holiday seasons. season. While most people began taking down their Christmas decorations by New Year's, there is still a full week before many practice, practicing Christians complete their celebrations of the birth of Jesus Christ. It is commonly associated with the day of the three wise men arrived at the manger and has several different names th throughout history and cultures. A big happy birthday shout out to the following people who are celebrating their birthdays today. Brenton Bonifer and Mrs. Mann. We hope you have a great day, Benton. Miss Mann is one of our teachers in the learning lab. Be sure if you see her to wish her a happy day. Thank you for all you do for Ireland. We are lucky to have you. And now, what's, what's cooking? cooking? Tomorrow for breakfast is bagel with cream cheese, fruit, 100% juice, and milk. Today for lunch is build your own pizza, Caesar salad, fruit and veggie bar, and milk. Now let's talk character ed on this thoughtful Thursday. We are starting with our three new character traits for this quarter. We are going to learn about forgiveness, fairness, and integrity. Today we are going to discuss forgiveness. Forgiveness is being able to forgive someone even after they have hurt your feelings. Being able to forgive someone has many benefits including healthy relationships, improved mental health, reduced anxiety and stress, and improved self-esteem. Let's watch this short video on forgiveness. Sometimes someone might do something mean to you. That person may not say they are sorry. You might be left feeling angry and upset. When you are hurting, your mind can fill with thoughts that make you feel worse. Your mind can be so full with these sad, angry thoughts that there's no room for happy, loving thoughts. Remember to say to yourself, even though I can't always choose what happens to me, I can always choose how I respond. You can choose to feel better. You can choose to forgive the person who hurt you. You can even feel compassion for them. Maybe they acted in a mean way because they have been hurt too. When you make the choice to forgive someone, you are letting go of your sad and angry thoughts. When these thoughts are gone, your mind is free and clear like a sunny day. By letting go, you make room in your mind and heart for happy, loving thoughts and feelings. You can start by having gratitude or thankfulness for all of the good things in your life. When you choose to let go of hurt and anger and feel grateful, you feel better immediately. Miss Hanneman has printed out forgiveness cards for you to use in your classroom. Although it isn't always easy to forgive, re forgive, remember to use forgiveness. It will make you feel better and brighten your day. That's all for today, Arlen. Be extra thoughtful on this Thursday and be kind to one another. Adios! Adios!